I was on previously um, married for almost like 12 years. Got married when I was young, like 22 years old. Through the, through the one process of I divorce, it wasn't pleasant at all. There was a lot of feelings attached to that. There was a lot of things that was happening behind the scenes. Now, I'm not going to go into the extreme details about the things that was happening behind the scenes, but there's one key detail that I want to share with y'all. Throughout my process of transitioning from being a husband and now I had to learn how to co-parent. It was hard as hell. I'm that type of one father that I've been taught that I'm going to be present in my children's life regardless. They might have made it hard for me to do that. Um, it was it was some parts of times where I had to um go to court continuously fighting the system. Not just her, but the actual system itself. Fighting the system to make sure that I'm at least considered as a uh, conservatorship over my children. Because there are men out there who won't even do that. They'll be so attached emotionally to their baby mama, right? Where they don't think about the children. They don't only think about themselves. So I had to fight hard for the system. Because the system was against me. The system, in that time, the system is against men, period. Because they want women to be single mothers. So women could, could reside on the system. They want it to happen. So they'll make it hard as hell for fathers to be present in their children's life. I had to fight hard to get a divorce decree drafted in a, in a way where even our, our divorce decree would say that I am a joint manager conservatorship over our children. Because if it didn't say that, if that divorce decree had one little loophole in it, best believe it would be utilized. So I fight hard for that. I fought hard to be in that life. I fought hard for visitation rights over my children. And when I fought hard for that, I followed through on it. I sure as hell did not like to be part of the bare minimum system of seeing my children uh, on on the um what was the 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 first the fifteenth and the thirtieth of the month? I hated that. I hated it for the simple fact when I was married, I was present in my children's life, taking them to school, doing their homework. Whenever they had a bad dream or nightmare, guess who came into the room? Not their mother, me. I came into that room. I the one who protected them against bad dreams. I the one who taught them how to ride a, ride bicycles and stuff. I the one taught not only my sons and my daughter how to ride bicycles and all kind of stuff. Teach my son how to fight, all kind of stuff. I was dead active in their life. Even with their activities that they had, I was very active in their life. Just imagine that every single day you active in your children like that, just like that, it's gone. Where you no longer get to see your, you no longer get to tuck your children in bed every single day like you used to. You no longer, you no longer get to always be a part of their activities or, or things that happen in their life. I was determined to be present in their life, period. I remember me losing my job. I ended up not losing my job. I ended up losing a sense of purpose. I remember losing my car. Through that all, I still made a way to still honor that bare minimum of that visitation. I literally would sit up here and either ask my homeboys or whoever, right? Or if I even had to hustle, I literally hustled. I had to hustle just with some gas money. Not gas money, but bus fare. Because at that time, I didn't even have a car. I had to hustle for some ga for some um, bus fare just to catch the bus all the way over and just pick, pick my children up. I remember at one point in time, it had got so bad, right? It was actually a point in time where I was literally homeless for real, y'all. Literally. I was literally standing out on the streets because I didn't have nowhere to go. They had no job, no nothing. But I didn't want my children to know that I, I was that way. So I was up here, catch the bus from wherever I was at, right? Go over there, catch the bus. And back then, my children was all still young. Caught the bus, 
we all ride on the bus, and that just made the bus ride exciting for them. Like, hey, we all on the bus, you know, make it all happy for them, right? But deep down inside, daddy hurt him, like, hurt him bad. Catch the bus, and we're catching the bus over to their grandmother's house. They didn't know that their daddy was homeless. But I never gave them the appearance that I was. I wasn't out looking like a homeless bum on the street. But I was literally homeless. But catch the bus over to their grandmother's house, and they will stay over there at their grandmother's house, whatever, spend time, whatever. Um, my uh, my mother, she, she uh, would give me, like, you know, a little bit of money because still I wasn't working at that time just to spend time with the children and take them places. We'll catch the bus. We'll go to downtown and do all these different things, right? I remember um, I finally found the job right now. Keep it also, or another thing I want to tell you too, keep in mind that not only the situation was happening, right, but I also was um, on child support, okay? But since I wasn't working, guess what will happen with child support? A real occurs. So when I finally start working, finally thinking that I have a foot in the door, right? When I finally have a foot in the door, right, y'all? Guess what? That's what child support start kicking my butt, y'all. Child support start taking out on my real saying, man, I ain't lie. Man, I uh, I remember that time, man, I used to be crying because I didn't know what to do. Because uh, child support would take all this stuff out. They only had like a $2 check, y'all. And I done worked at like 40. Imagine working 80 hours a week, right? Working hard as hell. Plus overtime. I working hard as hell because I wanted to get somewhere. Working hard as hell, y'all. To only get a two dollar check back, y'all. But I never showed my children that. Never did. But yet, it's still, I was still present in their life, even through that, provided for them. I remember what point in time where um, one of my check, all, all I got was um, like um, five or ten dollars from a check. I had took that five or ten dollars right, and. Um, my children were hungry, and so I took that last little 5 or $10 of the check and bought them something and spent it on them, all on them. And I remember that night, I went to bed, hungry than a champ, but I wanted to make sure I provided for them that they were straight. And this the things that I have been through. I've been through one people talking down on me. I've been through people ridiculing me. I've been through people thinking that they're, they're better than me. I've been through people um, talking, you know, about my pride and ego. All kind of, I've been through all kind of stuff, physically and emotionally. So I'm saying all this to y'all, especially the men after right now. I'm saying all this to y'all is that I understand. I understand what it's like to deal with, you know, at the time dealing with a um baby mom or a child mother where, you know, they be so vindictive where they try their best to try to prove that you're not worthy of the very seed that you created. I've been through that. So I understand the emotional part of it. I understand that sometimes it comes to that point. I'm not going to lie. It even came to a point of me where I had that thought. I had that honest thought to where, like, man, I um, I don't know. I'm I, I probably just going to give up my rights because I, I just don't want to deal with this no more because it is too much. Had that thought. But yet it's still, I didn't do it. There's absolutely no excuse for you not to be present in your child's life, period. I don't care what that woman did to you. I don't care what that woman said to you. Who the, who the hell cares? What matters now is your responsibility as being a father to your children. That's all that matters. It's all that matters because when they uh, grow up, one or two things are going to happen. They're going to either grow up and remember you being, being their father, being present in their life, the times that you was able to be present in their, in their life. They're going to remember that and they're going to honor that. Or they're going to remember when you end up um, being, being a little, be honest with you, being a straight little bitch and bitched out and Decided that you don't want to be present in your child's life and you was the one who helped procreate them. They're going to remember that. And when they remember that, that's when you create these whole beta males out here or these modern day women out here. Men, with no matter what it takes in your situation.
Still, still be present for your children life because it depends on your legacy, depends on that for real. Don't give up on them, period. Because it is not the children's fault that your and the mother relationship ended or however way it happened. It is not their fault. It's not their fault. It is you and her fault for the choices and decisions that y'all made within that relationship. And y'all have to deal with it accordingly. And last but not least, before we get to this video, currently present right now, after with a smoke clear and everything all said and done and we done moved on and moved on with our life, guess what? Me and um, my children, um, mother, right? Guess what? We are in a great space where we co-parent really, really well together. But it just took time. It took time to get over certain things. It took time of forgiveness. It took time for all that to happen. Okay? It just take time. So we are in a great space right now where we co-parent very good together. And so I'm telling y'all this, and this this for people, this mess will probably be some of y'all men out there right now that probably deal with this situation. All it do, it just take time. Focus on what you need to do as a father for your children. Everything else, I promise you, as long as you stay focused, don't get caught up in the bull crap, right? I promise you it's going to work itself out. I promise it will. But just stay focused on what you need to do as a man to stay present in your children's life because it's going to work itself out. Trust me, it is, because I'm a living example of that. 